someone aptly said, it's not really what happens in life that matters, it's how we respond to what happens in life that matters. Boast not yourself of tomorrow, for you know not what a day may bring forth. We have no clue, no idea what every day might bring in our life. Who would have believed a coronavirus would have got loose and stopped everything on planet Earth uh, in the last month or so? Just unreal. We, we have no control over certain things happening in our lives, but we can determine how we're going to respond to them. We've been talking this week about... Uh, dealing with depression and discouragement, despair, and overcoming that God's way. And, and we talked about surface problems, things we can see, fighting, cheating, etc., stealing. Then we talked underneath that is surface causes, and that's those emotionals, emotions that are underneath that, the anger, the fear, the worry, the insecurity. And then underneath that, three root problems, guilt, bitterness, and temporal values. And all week we've talked about how to deal with those. Today, I want to ask the question, all right, why won't we deal with our guilt? Why won't we deal with our bitterness? Why won't we give up our possessions, deal with our temporal values? Why won't we? What keeps us from doing it? Well, just like we have surface problems, then surface causes, we have root problems, there's only one root cause. One root cause for every problem that ever happened on planet Earth. You know what it is? Have you guessed it? Well, the word sin has a middle letter in it, S-I-N. Isn't that interesting? And right next to that word sin is another word called pride, P-R-I-D-E, the middle letter, I. It all started in heaven, I mean before who knows when, but Satan, his heart was lifted. He was Lucifer, son of the morning. His heart was lifted up with pride, and he said, I shall be like the Most High God. And he, because of pride, gets kicked out of heaven. When man is created in the Garden of Eden, he goes down there as a serpent, and he deceives Eve, and he says, you can be your own God. You can decide what's right and wrong. Why is God keeping this tree and the fruit of this tree from you? And he appealed to her pride, and she, I, took the fruit, and ate it, and she gave it to her husband. Now, pride is the root of all our issues and problems in life. So the question is, how do we deal with pride? How do we deal with pride? Now, the Bible says God resists the proud. He stands against the, crowd, the proud, but he gives grace to the humble in James chapter 4. So if you want to deal with your bitterness, your guilt, your, your temporal values, you have to first deal with your pride. You see, it's your pride that says, I'm not going to go ask for forgiveness from somebody that uh, I think they hurt me worse than I hurt them. I'm not going to ask God to forgive me. That's pride. But when you humble yourself and you say, I know I'm a sinner and I can't help myself. I'm sick of being this way. Guess what happens? God gives you grace. That's what happened to me February 21st, 1971. I had to humble myself before a holy God and admit I really am wrong. I am a sinner. I've offended him. And when the moment I did that, he gave me grace to trust, to believe, and everything changed. God gives you grace also to forgive others. It says, make sure you receive the grace of God to forgive those who have offended you so that you don't get bitter. And then that bitterness affects everybody else around you. So how do you get that grace? Well, you deal with pride. You admit you can't do it on your own. The grace of God is sufficient to help you with every need you have in your life. Oh, for the grace of God that's found in Jesus Christ. He was full of grace and truth. You come to Jesus. You look to Jesus. God, God himself humbles himself and takes on human flesh. God showed us how to deal with pride. He humbled himself. He became like a man. He became a servant. He served others. He gave his life a ransom. He died so that others might live. That's what we have to do to deal with pride. Die to self. Live to God. Let His Holy Spirit fill you. That's my prayer today. Because the root problem that really goes back to the depression and all the other problems we have is pride. May God help us to deal with the pride of our hearts today, the pride of our nation. And may God help us. Oh God, we need revival here. You have a great day. God bless.